This question isn't actually that hard, but it's where I would start to recognize that something has shifted, right? We're starting to get into harder questions where there's a little bit more uh, technical knowledge needed. So uh, what we have here in this original graph is the, the graph of y equals f of x. So it's important to recognize that because sometimes they'll give us the shifted graph, but basically what they're asking for is the shifted graph, and that's why this one isn't so bad. But we need to understand how the shift works. So the way I would do this if I were unsure is kind of focus up on a point, right? Like pick a point to focus on. So what we're deal dealing with here, let's just use this point right here. What is that point? That's the point 3, 3, right? So f of 3 is equal to 3. Simple. Now when we have, okay, this shifted graph, y equals, well, let's focus on the same point, right? So when x is 3, what's going to happen? Well, f of 3 is still 3, right? So that's right here. That's still going off of this graph. That is true. That's how we're shifting the graph is we need to use the original one. So that means our y is 8. So now we're looking for the point on the shifted graph of 3, 8. So let's see. 3, 8? No. 3, negative 2, right? So that's no good. 3, I don't know what that is. Less than 1. Doesn't work. Here we've got 3 and we've got, I don't know, 4 and change, 4 and a half, something like that. And then here we have 3 if we go up it's eight, right? So it's definitely D. We don't need to focus on everything. And, and many of you may have gotten this without focusing on any points at all, because you might've just been like, okay, I know what happens when we have a shift that looks like this, that adds the, the, the amount on the outside of the F of X, right? So if we add it just to the end, it's an upward shift, a translation five up. And so, okay, well, this graph looks like it goes down. This graph kind of looks like it just gets more flat, I guess. I don't even know what's happening here. Uh, this one goes up, but maybe not enough. And it kind of almost goes to the, to the right a little bit. And then this one goes up and it goes up the amount we need. So that's really it. We do need to understand how translations work. It is very common on the SAT that they ask about it. But in a lot of cases, we are, we're, it's not really worth it for us to kind of put it in Desmos because we don't have, in this case, the uh, actual original graphs equation. So we wouldn't really be able to see the shift other than to understand it just one point at a time. So uh, always remember you can do that is you can either think big, big picture if you feel really confident with that or focus in on a point and try to think about how that point is going to change. That might help you understand how the entire graph is going to change.